Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com. Today I want to talk to you about the greatest application that I have ever found uh, for an iOS device. That's iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. The application is called iMedia Server. Now there's two different versions. There's the free version, which has ad supports. That's the orange one, and the blue one is ads free, and that one is $4.99. However, I will say this, this is such a great application. Um, I highly do recommend, if you do like it, to pay, uh, just just buy it, show some support to the uh, developer. So anyway, I'm going to set up the free version just to give, give you um, a look at it. As you can see, it just has that little ad right down there, not really a big deal at all. And it supports photos, music, and videos. And now what all, all these other things are, pretty much all internet channels such as um, YouTube, TED TV, uh, Vimeo and so on and um, but what we want to do right now is I'm going to turn off the screen on my iPod touch just like that and bingo here we have iMedia uh, share and uh, we're going to go over to video and we're going to go over to uh, Vimeo Vimeo is uh, kind of like a film place where filmmakers go. Now as you can see there's a bunch of videos right here. And um, I'm just going to play um, one for a second just to give you a demonstration. Okay, now we're going to stop that. So basically, what this is doing, um, iMedia Share, it's a uh, me, it's a media server. So it goes out and finds the videos, and then shoots those over the router into your PS3, your Xbox, or maybe you have a DVD player that has media sharing, or your TV set, or a lot of other set-top boxes as well. So now we're going to go over to YouTube. Um, now, now you have featured, popular, uh, top rated, and all this other stuff. However, let's say we want to find a certain video. Well, all you have to do is go like right here, click on YouTube, and we're going to click search. Now, here are a couple tips that are really important for uh, finding, finding the specific video that you're interested in. You want to type in the user of the video that you're interested in. Like, for instance, I'm going to type in Captain 8-Bit. Okay. Now I'm going to type in Episode 8. And as you can see, here is Episode 8. Now, you don't have to get um, the whole title in. You can, like, take a, a piece of the title and what it's going to do is it's going to look for Captain 8-Bit and then find um, the next words so it's very easy to find. So it's Captain 8-Bit and then it found Episode 8. Or you can type in Thrill the Hunt or whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this in to the PS3, okay? And now we're going to turn that off just to save a little battery power. We're going to search results and now it found those search results. Now we're going to play a small, just a little bit of it, just to show you. This episode of Game Chasers. I felt my, my body temperature start rising, and I just got enraged. So as you can see, it plays back these video files in very high quality which is really really nice this is a lot better than like going over to you know um, the crappy um, PS3 browser and using the mobile site of YouTube where you are only able to use uh, the 240p setting and then you have to zoom in and so on uh, now if you use a regular site you can only uh, look at the first videos on your subscription uh, subscription However, I do want to show you a couple more tips. 
a lot of people are always complaining about, oh, uh, you know, I, I hear from them, especially the bigger YouTubers like Sexy Phil and Soldier Knows Best. They always say, oh, like, oh, um, I'm getting a lot of messages that people's video, like my videos aren't showing up in people's subscription box. Well, it's really your fault. Um, um, not your fault. I mean, I'm not saying the people who are watching this video, but the YouTube users. users. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me just go to um, YouTube real quick. And uh, let's say, um, let's go to my subscriptions. And go to new videos. And let's say, uh, you know, I like Mac Macintosh. I like his video. So what you want to do is click thumbs up. So if you're going to watch any of these videos... Uh, through iMediaShare, make sure you do have the uh, mobile site of YouTube open. So if you see like Captain 8-Bit's newest video and you know, you're know you sitting in the living room and you want to watch it right there, make sure you give a thumbs up. The reason why this is so important because you're telling YouTube what uh, subscriptions that you like the most. If you leave a comment, that also tells them, you know, again, it like, tells them what you like a lot. Now YouTube, you know, will always try to recommend videos to you. Um, however, um, you know, it'll tend to go by what you watched, but it really doesn't know what you like. So you may be subscribed to like 50 people, and you know, let's say Captain 8-Bit releases a video, and there's like 20 other people that release a video, and you watched all 20 videos, and the next time you log on, YouTube really doesn't know out of the 20 videos which ones you like the most. So remember, always give a thumbs up in the mobile browser. And that's just M, uh, you can't see it right here, but it's m.youtube.com. Also, um, you know, you can use the YouTube application that comes with the uh, iOS, that's iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Just go like that, you know, start it up, log in, and all you have to do is give a thumbs up. Me personally, I do like the mobile version that's, uh, of YouTube. That's just, just because I like their... Uh, check messages and so on, and I can reply and stuff like that. But once again, when I look at all the uh, channels, you know, as you can see, it has uh, this one's kind of interesting. Art for uh, Art for HD. It's about a little bit of you know different videos from different websites. CBS News, Break, C uh, CNBC, CNET, CNET HD. Um, you know, it has NASA TV, uh, PlayStation videos, uh, Showtime, TED Talks, TED Talks HD, uh, YouTube that has the White House, and it has Vimeo. Those are some of my favorites. There's probably some other ones I haven't discovered right over here. But anyway, this is an amazing application. Remember, the orange one is free, and the blue one is um, $4.99. Now, I will say this. Um, on iOS... It did not get the best reviews, and the reason I think I think it kind of got a little bit of low reviews is because um, it was probably released and there was probably a bug in the first version. That sometimes happens, and then you know they'll update it and fix it. But keep in mind that the people who download the first version uh, version are the ones who rated it, and they gave it a bad rating. And so um, later versions that fixed the bugs. You know, people don't go back and then re-rate uh, re, uh, the, uh, the application. I did see one rating when somebody said they rated it bad, but they found out it was their network, uh, their router was having problems, and it really wasn't the application. Now, I will say this also. also the Android version has extremely good ratings, four stars. That's really highly rated, both the free version and the paid version. However, the iOS version... Um, it got a little low, low ratings, but you can see I've been using it and I haven't had any problems with it. So I highly recommend it. Download the free version, see if you like it, and if you do really enjoy it, um, maybe you know pay for the full version because it shows the developer that there is support for it. And when you give somebody money, you know they're gonna have more, um, they're gonna be more um, enthusiastic about improving their application. They're probably gonna add in more channels. And, you know, this will work on Xbox 360, work on the PS3, like I said. Uh, there's a lot of Blu-ray players that have media, uh, media file sharing, television sets, and other media um, boxes. But 
you really have to check it out. It's an amazing application. Once again, guys, this is MP4Podcast.com signing out. You guys take care. Later, guys. Bye.